Well, I think we have a dis this balance in the world today that uh, the best minds are not appreciated enough. And I think they will recognize that uh, there is a public recognition and financial reward, uh, which I think is important for young people to get the right messages. We do what we do because we love it. But it's great to have a moment to stop and realize that something has been accomplished. And it's great to have that recognized broad, more broadly by, by a group like the group that have funded the Breakthrough Prize. Right over here. Thank you. Right in the lens. Yeah. What is so important about science for the future? Uh, I think it's critical that you know everyone has a science education and that we're really involved in science and that we make science something that every single person can relate to. Thank you so much. I, I had a wonderful Bio 101 professor in college at William & Mary, and I, he, that, that kept me curious for the rest of my life. Inspired you then? It inspired me, and it still does. So. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. How are you? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I have a lot of respect for science. If it weren't for science, where would we be? Thank you so much. Last time right here. And right here, please. For me, thank you so much. Right over here, bro. Thank you. Last time, Kevin, back over here. Thanks. Sir. Sir. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for that warm and deeply intelligent welcome. Our first laureate is one such scientist. He went looking for a really big problem to solve and found the key to a condition that touches a billion lives. Not bad for someone who was considered a failure at 39. Mark and I are honored to put the spotlight on our first laureate, Richard Lipton. Thank you. Please remain seated. Thank you very much. It's an honor to stand here this evening in a room filled with our greatest minds in science, advanced communication, and cutting edge technology. For discovering ways to fight cancer using the body's own immune system, the Breakthrough Prize goes to James Allison. The scientists here have no parallel, and uh, the kinds of things that we consider high risk and high impact uh, entrepreneurially are but a, but a tiny fragment of what they do. There is no greater miracle or more powerful force on earth than the human mind. That power is demonstrated brilliantly by the inaugural class of Life Sciences Laureates.
this has been a phenomenal event. And first and foremost, I want to thank Yuri Milner for the vision of making science cool and extraordinary. And I have to say, like for me as a child of a particle physicist where you know, people would look at me and be like, your dad does what? Um, to suddenly see it celebrated on stage and, and, and so cool. I mean, I, I have to say, like, I, I'm, not, I'm not a teary person, and I was about to cry. Um, so it really is amazing. You guys have done amazing work, and, and to see it celebrated. And I think that this is genuinely going to transform how we view science. So I'm incredibly proud to be associated with Yuri Milner. Thank you. Do you think that this event is going to uh, succeed in, in bringing uh, attention to what you all do? And um, is that a good thing, and why? Well, if I could just answer with, I, I think yes in a number of ways. One is just by raising the visibility. But also, I, I'm going to plan to use some of the the funds that I got to start a mentorship program in high school and undergraduate students to actually you know, expose them to scientists, both by taking scientists to the high school campuses and whatnot, and by having programs at the Cancer Center in, in Texas, for example, and have kids come there. And if nothing else, just watch and see what science is and, and how rewarding it can be and frustrating as well, but let them see what it's about. Because now it's something that they don't know about. They know about football and basketball, but they don't know anything about science. It's like the other side of the moon. We're not the best advertisers uh, of our work. We're not selected for uh, being self-promoters, and uh, so this limelight is not something that comes terribly naturally to uh, most of us, as I think was apparent uh, this evening. Uh, so I think anything that raises uh, the public's awareness of uh, who scientists are and what they do uh, is, uh, is a good thing, and uh, I'm really thrilled to have been a part of uh, tonight's ceremony. The funding uh, in my laboratory is supplied largely by the National Institutes of Health, and those of us who know how difficult it is to get funding these days from such organizations, and these are the largest providers of uh, um, funding for research in the States. Uh, the, for the rest of us, it is even worse. Uh, know how unpredictable and sometimes insufficient this funding is, and therefore about at least half of this prize are planned to spend at Caltech to support work in the lab, and that would be tremendously important for us, long-term and short-term.